Now it's time to meet a new animal. The new animal is the unicorn. A unicorn is a mythical animal, like a horse, but with one large horn on the middle of his nose. We do not know whether unicorns actually lived or not. The word unicorn appears in the Bible as an animal with horns. It may have referred to a wild ox. Deuteronomy 33.17 Job 39.9 Numbers 23.22 Isaiah 34.7 The Story of Yubi Unicorn Yubi Unicorn wanted to play a bass drum. When he saw a parade go by, he admired the bass drummer as he marched along. The drummer had shiny buttons down the front of his uniform, and he twirled the drumstick as he marched. How exciting it all was! Mother, said UB Unicorn after the parade, I want to play a big bass drum. Why, UB Unicorn, said his mama, where did you get an idea like that? I saw a bass drum in the parade. It was so exciting, mama. He went... UB Unicorn marched around the room twirling his imaginary drumstick. Oh, I see, said Mrs. Unicorn. Well, I'm afraid that's out of the question, UB Unicorn. We just don't have a bass drum anywhere around here. UB Unicorn did so want to make music and march in a band. What could he make music with? UB Unicorn started to pout. Then he thought of something. Somewhere he had seen an old bugle horn. Where was it? Back in the closet? He went to see. Out came the winter coats. Out came the umbrella. Out came his old baseball cap. Out came a book he had last winter. There it was. Oh, it did not look like the shiny bugle in the parade. Not much. It wasn't a bit shiny. It was dented a bit, here and there. UB Unicorn had not been too careful what he threw in his closet, I'm sorry to say. UB Unicorn rubbed his sleeve across the horn and it began to shine a little. He rubbed it harder, and it shined a lot. That bugle didn't look bad at all. Was there music in it? UB Unicorn tried to remember how the bugle player in the parade looked. Let's see, was it this end you blew, or the other end? He blew in the big end. Whoosh! No music there. He blew in the other end. Blah! UB Unicorn shook his head. It was not exactly music. Maybe, but it was something. Let's see how had the bugler held his mouth. UB Unicorn tried this way and that way and another way. Finally, out came just the smallest little bit of music. Mama, he called, listen to this. You be unicorn, 
I do believe you could make music on that bugle if you practiced, said Yubi Unicorn's mama. I think I'll try, Yubi Unicorn said. And so he did try. The first day, it did not sound too good. The second day, still not too good, but not quite as bad. The third day, it almost sounded like music. The fourth day, it did sound like music. UB Unicorn was learning to play music on the bugle horn. But a horn alone doesn't sound much like a band. What could he find to make more music? He thought and thought. Suddenly, he remembered something he had seen at Grandma Unicorn's house. Mama, may I go and see Grandma Unicorn? Yes, if you will be careful and be a good little unicorn, don't get in Grandma Unicorn's way. I won't, Mama, I promise said Yubi Unicorn as he skipped out the door. At Grandma Unicorn's house, he scurried to the top of the house. He was remembering something he had seen in the attic. It was wood, and it had some kind of strings on it. There was a long thin stick coming out the end. What was it Grandma Unicorn had called it? Ah, here it was. Yubi Unicorn brushed off the dust and looked at it. As it did, he heard the strings go twang, twang. He tried it again. Twang, 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 twang. He tried it backwards. Twang, 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 twang. It did not quite sound like music, but it was almost music. Maybe he could get some music from the old wooden box with a stick and some strings. Grandma Unicorn, look what I found in the attic. UB Unicorn shouted running down the stairs. I think I could almost make music with it. Was... What is it, Grandma Unicorn? Grandma Unicorn looked up. Oh, you found the old ukulele, said Grandma Unicorn. I found the old Mickey... What, what was it, said UB Unicorn. Grandma Unicorn laughed. You Kelly, you be unicorn, say it. You Kelly, hey, I like that. The name almost sounds like music itself. You Kelly, would you like to have it? You be unicorn, you certainly may have it if you want it. Maybe you can make some music with it. You can really make music on the bugle now. Yes! Thank you, Grandma Unicorn. I'd love to have it. Now the first day, the ukulele kept on saying merely, Twang, 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 twang. Or occasionally, twang, twang. In a few days, it was making regular music. Trum, triddle, triddle, trum, triddle, triddle. Yubi Unicorn had a brother, Yumo Unicorn. I wish we had a drum, Yumo Unicorn. Then we could have a parade. We need a drum to go. Yumo Unicorn said, I have an idea, Yubi Unicorn. He got one of his mother's pants and a wooden spoon. Boom, 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 boom. It did sound a little bit like a drum. Louder, Yumo Unicorn, said Yubi Unicorn. Do it like this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yumo Unicorn tried it and it worked. 
Well, before you knew it, there was a parade. There was UB Unicorn with his shiny golden bugle, toodling for all he was worth, and Trump trilling at the same time on the ukulele. There was Yumo Unicorn with his drum, boom booming all the way. You had to imagine the shiny buttons, that's true, but how gaily they marched, how happily they played. Now, boys and girls, you know there is a lesson in all this. Did UB Unicorn get to play a big bass drum as he wanted to? No, he did not. But he did not pout, and he did not give up. He thought of something else. When he found the bugle, was it shiny and beautiful? No, it needed to be polished. UB Unicorn did not pout. He just went to work and polished it. When he tried to play it the first time, did he make a beautiful music? No, he made a terrible blah. He did not stop. He practiced and tried again. Sometimes, when we want something, we get it right away. Sometimes, we don't get what we want. Then, we have to use what we have or settle for something different. We still need to be cheerful and happy and to learn to use what we have. There is a verse that talks about this. It tells us that God wants us to be happy with what we have and not complain or sulk or fuss until we get something else. Sometimes it takes a long time to get what we want. We have to keep on trying and practicing and working toward our goal. Boys and girls, we must learn to be thoughtful and to think ahead to the results of our actions. A Christian must be careful in what he does and make the right decisions so he will please God in his life. God has promised to give us wisdom and to keep us from mistakes if we will ask his help. Watch thou in all things. 2 Timothy 4.5